I write songs with other people, and it's a very different experience. And I've been very blessed to have a songwriting partner in my life, a guy named Alan Rohde, and we've written a lot of stuff together. Alan's, of course, a great writer in his own right. He's uh, created songs for everyone from the Oak Ridge Boys to Laurie Morgan. If you follow country music, that is, you'd know those people. Our writing sessions generally begin with uh, just conversation. You will start talking about something. One day, uh, I looked at Alan and uh, I just said, have you ever cheated on your wife? Well, he's sort of a traditional uh, guy, and, well, he was kind of offended at the impertinence of my question. I thought he was going to smack me. But I said, okay, 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 calm down, all right, you know, if you, if, you, if you haven't, why not? So we were off to the races then. We, were, we started a song that was about to be, you know, the next great George Jones hit. And uh, it's not the song I'm going to sing, actually, but I thought I'd just mention that to you for... Although, you know, I could play a little snippet of it if, you, if you're interested in hearing it. You see, the thing is, we never finished it. Uh, something came up and we never finished it, but based on the premise, here's what we had. Um, went like this. I guess I know that I could keep a secret Guess I could look for love across the street How could I look her in the eye Knowing what I know That's one good reason I don't cheat That hit stamped all over it, I thought it was. But as I said, we never actually finished the song, and uh, the reason for that is we tried to write this bridge for the song, and uh, it just sucked. It was really awful. As a matter of fact, we worked it, and we worked it, and we rewrote it, and rewrote it, and the more we rewrote it, the worse, the worse it got. Until I started calling the song Nymagen, because it was a bridge too far. I suppose you probably want to hear the bridge. I could sense a streak of cruelty in you a mile wide. Okay, well, this is the, this is the bridge that killed the song. Right over wrong Love grows strong She trusts me to be where I belong. <laughs> so, you know, we moved on. Because you have to, you know, when, when life just crashes and burns, you have to move on. So we started another song, and the, the question we asked this time was, was life better before there was computers? You know, everybody's got an opinion about that, but we quickly realized that no one in their right mind would ever, ever really care about a song like that, so we wrote a love song instead. And that's the one I'm actually going to play. But I want you to realize as I play this love song that deep down it's actually really about computers. It's called uh, Picking Up Mary Lou. Just an old truck 
Got a history of hay bales Not a computer in her She got no draft windows Got an A track Got a dent in the right side door Gotta get right in her Go down the main street And pick up Mary Lou She's not complicated She seems happy to live here Just a simple girl Low heel pumps And a print dress First saw her in the mirror she was closer than she appeared I pulled over on Main Street And opened up the door for Mary Lou Mercedes. I saw Claudia Schiffer while leaping through the barbershop copy of Esquire magazine. That's what I'm supposed to want. That's what I'm supposed to possess and flaunt. But I just want my simple truck. Just want my simple, lovely Mary Lou Hello, Mary Lou 